Bishop, first of all, thank you so much for being here for a very, sure. very inspiring uh, message that you have for us. I'm Rodrigo Fernandez. I'm a part of the University U in Austin, Texas. We just um, had our shrine dedication over there, so we're very Great. inspired. And I think one of the things that for me spoke to me the most is that tension today of our young people's perspective of church, things being stagnant or of another time versus a Hollywood, you know, media depiction that's very noisy and that, you know, pretends to fill us that it's really empty. I think it's, for us, the discovery of the charism like Shunsat really brings the church to life. And I think for many of us, we can share in the university branch, that's been our experience. And it's, sure. it's something that was true in 1914 to, you know, those very solid but it's definitely still true today uh, for us. We had the opportunity to go to World Youth Day last summer to meet with Pope Francis there, and also to meet as an international trust at youth, and our motto was to be the missionary generation. Right. And I think that's something that you touched on a lot today, especially I like the order in which you mentioned them. It comes first from an inward experience, an experience of home, an experience in, you know, in the China within the family, that then compels you to go out mm -hmm. and share it. So that I think is very true to our generation today. We look at this Jubilee year as an opportunity to refound Shansa, to share it, to enkindle life into our church. We are an apostolic movement. Mm -hmm. I guess my question for you is, how, how do you dream, how do you see the youth playing a role in this refoundation of the church, this refounding of movement? Well, thank you. I take my inspiration from right here in front of me, Father Jesus, uh, at the University of Texas. I've uh, told the co-president of the Focolari, who was not re-elected, so I guess my, <laughs> my suggestion went into, unless he passed it on. But, but I think the universities, the, where the youth are, I mean, they're, you know, they're, they're in the universities. We as the older generation can be with, there with you to, to maintain the fidelity to the charism, help you in that. But you're the ones that have the expression. You know where to go. So I, I would say the universities, uh, colleges, and to, to the degree that it's possible where the youth are. Now, uh, so that's one, to, to, to make sure the charism is solid in you. And if you understand the charism, then it's your responsibility to develop it in you so that you can go to where they are. The second inspiration for me is when I was also at World Youth Day, uh, the week, uh, two weeks after, for two, for two weeks afterwards, I was with um, 60 bishops from around the world that adhere to the Focolari. And we went to a place near Aparecida, um, which is called the Fazenda de Esperanza, which we just had here in Corpus Christi last week at our Catholic Charities Dinner. There again, it was inspired by the gospel, by a charism <clears throat> of a young man uh, who was actually a part of the Focolari, but now they've become kind of a, their own charism, which is great. But he, with the parish priest, allowed that charism to sink into him, that all may be one. And he said, well, my friends are on the, on the side, on the corner with drugs. And he heard the gospel one day, which was the word of life for that month, said, do not be afraid. And so he took the step to go and get to know them. And he said, Lord, give me one of them. <laughs> that was his prayer. Give me just one. And over the next six or whatever months it was, one of them said, why are you so happy? You know, he was, nobody's happy in that kind of an environment. I don't care what they say. Nobody's happy in that kind of a, a dark world. But they saw a light. This one man, Antonio, saw a light in Nelson. <clears throat> so he came. And within weeks, they had six people coming because they'd bring him to Mass. He was 18 years old. He's now 40. We celebrated his birthday last week together, 42. But um, he started taking them to Mass. And now they have a center called the Fazenda de Esperanza, the Farm of Hope, where they teach them to live the gospel, to live in community. They start the catechism, Mass. They stay for one year. They learn to work. And that's a new gift of God to the church. So I'm inviting them to come to Corpus Christi in South Texas to help us here. But the point is that he, as a young man, went to where they were. And by his simple testimony, just getting to know them, their names, he drew them back. 
So whether it's at the university campuses, which I think is a hotbed for not only vocations, but also for this desire, but also as young people to prepare yourselves to go where you are. I tell the young seminarians, you're the one that's going to evangelize your age group. They're not going to listen to me. But if you'll listen to me, we'll help to form you so that you can go. And I think that's where a movement, and I, to be honest, you know, we're all of a certain age here, the majority of the average age here, but we have to, to also loosen ourselves up to let that generation move. If we keep them, you know, no, you got to do it this way, we'll never get there. And I say that in the parishes, you know, it's, it's fine to be a part of a youth group, but that youth leader needs to know you've got to prepare these kids to go. You don't kid them, keep them there so you can tell the bishop, we now have 103 in our youth group. I don't really care. <laughs> if you have two or three that can go and you're forming them to go, that's what I care about. Okay? So I think, and I say this to the Shunsa, I say the Focolari, because my, I, I got off base. The suggestion I made to the co-president last summer when we were together, let's do what the Shunsa is doing. They're going to the universities, they're forming the, the covenants there around the Blessed Mother, and they're attracting, come to the universities. I got three universities in my, I'll give you a, a house. <laughs> And, and it's numbers. I mean, I understand that. I don't mean to criticize them <laughs> for them, but I, you know, but they're all saying that's a beautiful idea, and I say, let's do it. You know, so we can't stay like this. We've got to, with your generation. We need to help you to assure that the charism is what it is. But let go, and let you go, and be there. That's what I would say. I'm much better at questions than answers. So. 